All right, guys, at this point, I'm back under the hood. Um, I've already, this is this light is installed. It's wired. The headlight is wired. The plug's fixed on it. Got all the stuff coming through here like it's supposed to. Found a, um, found a bad wire um, that had, um, put, oh, it's in this harness here. It had burn up. So I've got it patched back together. And I'm looking at the stuff that goes to the other, the other turn signal and headlight on this side. And um, had a had a place in here where it really got hot, like there was a, a direct short or something. So I'm gonna have to, um, I don't feel comfortable with this stuff, so I'm gonna have to remove this section of wiring and replace it. And then um, hopefully, I won't hook a, a battery up to this thing until I feel like every every place it's terminated is hooked to the right place. And then we'll see uh, what a mess I have. But that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, you see here, the um, I got the um, inside all buttoned up where that I um, oh, got all of the um, stuff for the rear window defroster. Got another relay to put on that. I've got the uh, stuff done for uh, bypassing the, um, the regulator. Since I went to an alternator, I got my wire ran and connected to my positive on my battery. Battery's right there. So that's, that's cool. These are all for that um, deal that you diagnosis port that we all cut out. And that's the ends of it. I just cut them off and taped them off. So, um, yeah. The only thing I was a little disappointed with is that when I got under the car and cleaning up the wires to the starter and everything, I was looking to hook up the rear view or the uh, reverse lights. And uh, this transmission that's in this car, uh, which this pan was from a different um, car, uh, doesn't have a um, reverse light um, switch in it. So I'm gonna have to come up with something um, up, up front um, if I want reverse lights. I think they're handy sometimes, you know, when you need to back up, it's nice to be able to have light back there, but. I'm gonna try to figure it out, but um, keep on working through it. The new after light, or after uh, market tail lights that you get, to get them to fit into the, uh, underneath the original German chrome, um, unfortunately, you have to take a Dremel and just... Uh, turn signals first time ever it's kind of sunny out here so it's kind of hard to see it but yeah it's coming together guys uh, that's the first door is back together with all of the uh the window glass in it and the scrapers and all this stuff i mean it's older stuff but it still looks pretty good most of the rubbers are changed i didn't change this rubber here because these weren't horribly bad um but everything's uh, rolling up and down and um it's cool um oh, i've got all that wiring hooked up and or that all done, coil mounted. But um, I painted this tail housing and got it on here and I realized that uh, there's no way that's gonna mate. There's like a space behind it. So I'm gonna probably have to take them off and cut the bottom edge down to kind of fit the shape of the fender where it'll sit on there flush, uh, which is gonna be a pain in the butt, but I mean, it's up, it's up a lot. So that's not gonna work. Finished up on um, getting the uh, glass in this side. Um, all the all that stuff put back together. Ended up having to use the original scraper on the inside. The empty one just fell apart um, on me. Um, I'm pretty stoked about it. Uh, I think that um, you know I'm gonna make my I'm gonna have it done by the time I thought I was gonna have it done. But one thing I did get an opportunity to do is one of the guys in our car club had some rims that he um, had. Um, I think his dad had bought and they never used them. And so um, check these things out. Um, I don't think they've ever been mounted on a car. Um, I looked at them, the date code's 1993. And I was thinking about maybe, um, I don't know, it's gonna be hard because I had, you know, these wheels are all powder coated and they're black and I think the black looks tight on there. But um, I think that these wheels would carry those big old meaty tires. It may look pretty cool on the car. Um, let me know what you think. Um, so would it be go with the old style MP8 spokes or go with the wagon spokes that have been um, powder coated. Also picked up a mirror. I was gonna get one of them fancy Baja mirrors, but I heard that you can't open your vent windows with them. So I just went with a stock one. It looks pretty sweet on there. Yeah, this fit is kind of, this is the other side. It seems a little bit better, but it still needs to be, be trimmed. Uh, this side seems a lot worse. So it must've been positioned different on the fender. I'm gonna have to really look at it before I do anything. 
All right, guys, I, um, to get the tail lights to contour the bottom of the fenders, I actually had to grind off the bottom edge to kind of round it a little bit. And uh, so now I've got them sitting, waiting, drying, uh, repainted them again, and uh, put it on pretty thick this time. I'm probably gonna have to do a little color sanding, but then uh, we'll get them bad boys installed on there and move on to uh, the headliner. All right, guys, I had my friend JT had an extra box of this kill mat. So I went ahead and did some sound deadening on the roof in this back area here for the engine. I may try to get a little bit more for those fender wells just to try to quieten it up in here, but um, I'm sure it'll make a tremendous difference. Thanks, JT. Got everything, the windows all taped up or I'll spray glue everywhere. I've been looking at the J-Bugs video. Seems like the most straightforward one on installing these things. Um, I had to make my own kit, um, you know, cause this, this was kind of like a freebie headliner. Um, uh, it was like a friend had it that got it at a swap meet or something. I don't know. He's going to throw it away. I took it. Um, it. It's the right size for this car. So it didn't have any foam kit or anything. So I went down and got a roll of half inch foam at Walmart. And um, it was just enough to cut out the 11 pieces that you need um, to if, to do the, um, do the foam behind the headliner. The thing I don't have is the stuff that they put up on the roof. The only thing that's coming to mind for me is maybe carpet padding. Um, I'm gonna go look and see um, if I can get a carpet shop to see if they've got some remnants or something. Um, it's three and a half by like four, four and a half. And so I'm gonna see if I can go find one and then uh, we'll go from there and go on to the next step. Well, I um, was thinking about it and I was thinking carpet stores. So I called up a carpet store here where we live um, locally and um, the guy told me, yeah, dude, just come on by. And uh, he says, I've got all kinds of remnants. You can have one. So I'm um, running up to town um, to go pick up a remnant to see if I can get something to insulate the roof of the car with. I don't know if this is right or what, but I've got it all kind of glued up in there. I'm gonna go back and watch the videos one more time, make sure there's nothing I'm overlooking. Probably is, we'll see. Okay, that was a nightmare. So at the bottom, below that window, there's no foam. I put foam there, took forever to get it off. Same on this side, it's off now though. So I went ahead and got it all in place again. Uh, patched a bunch of places where I thought that, you know, that there was missing pieces and stuff that needed to be there. Uh, now I gotta get this and I'm out of glue. So off to Walmart I go. All right guys, it's up there. So let's try it, let it dry overnight in the morning. We'll do the headliner. That worked out pretty good. Decided to cut it in two pieces. All the videos showed them doing one piece, but I figured it'd be easier to handle with two. So that's what I did. All right, guys, I got it laid out on the roof of the car and got the little support bars in it. I went down and bought some um, little rubber caps for the end of these that are, they said they're for plug off vacuum lines, but I think they'll work. All right, guys, gotta work my way through this. Um, got the post done, which is cool. And I'm just starting to get this up in here and start pulling it around. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna take a minute. I'm not gonna get in a hurry. I'm gonna just get it done. But yeah, it's, um, it's gonna have a headliner here pretty soon, which is kind of crazy for a little car that sat out in the field forever. Um, still going at it. Uh, this is several hours later. I had to leave a couple times to do some stuff. Um, it's not that good. <laughs> But I'm thinking that I may be able to straighten it out. It's um, it's okay though. I mean, I just got a, somebody told me I could take a heat gun in here and get most of these wrinkles out. So we'll see how that works. But um, it's all coming together slowly. All right guys, that's it for the night. I've got the side pieces in there, uh, the back pieces in here. I'm, um, I'm gonna, you know, I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet. I mean, it's, all right, but I think I can make it a lot better. We'll see in the morning. Um, I'm pumped up that it's done, even though it's not perfect. I think I can make it awesome. So we'll get on it in the morning with a heat gun and clean up this car and see what we can do. All right, guys, it's slowly shrinking into place. Um, I don't know, I don't think I'll get it perfect, but for my very first headliner, it's coming along pretty decent. Did a little painting down in here, just kind of clean that up uh, underneath the fenders. And uh, working on the headliner some more. It's getting tighter and tighter in there. Uh, just keep shrinking it. I'm using a uh, 
just a heat gun, like a paint stripper gun. But uh, yeah, it's coming along. It's amazing. You gotta be really careful though. I mean, it'll you can burn a thing up quick. And I got the tail lights painted on the car here. So hopefully I'll get the wiring done here in just a little bit. And I've got the um, thing that goes across the back here out there in primer right now and doing a little touch up on it before it gets paint. All right, I've gone about as far as I am on the headliner. Um, check it out. Turned out pretty sweet. Now, uh, it's on the windows. Well, I'm on my way to Oak Hill Automotive again. Um, we got a, cu a couple of windows in last night, and um, when we, um, I got to one of the quarter windows, and it was an aftermarket window, it had been, become delaminated all around the edges, got some discoloration and stuff, so I got a hold of my buddy Daniel over here, and uh, he says he's got a window, and then I'm also going to try to get a few little odds and ends, and um, get on back to the garage and get back on the car. Well, working under the dash. Put some overspray on this, hoping it'll clean up good. We'll check it out here in a little bit. Show you what I'm dealing with. Somebody had been in the wiring on this thing, and pretty much most of the stuff is unhooked. So I'm gonna clean up all the connections, move through one wire at a time, and get it ready to put back together. All right, guys, that kind of got out of hand. I went ahead and you can pry these things off um, around the edges, get the ring off of them. Um, I want to clean the inside of the glass and the outside of the glass. And then um, I'm thinking about seeing if I could try to clean this up a little bit better than that. I think it could look a little nicer. Um, I went ahead and took this apart, uh, just looking at all of the, uh, the different little deals inside to see if they're working. Man, it looks like the one that's green is missing from mine. So I'm going to look around and see if I got another speedometer around here that might have that. If not, I might make something to stuff off in there um, for, the, um, for the turn signals. But uh, pretty clean. I mean, it started out pretty crusty, but I'm getting cleaned up. And I really haven't even started on this thing to get it clean. But I'll dial it in and, and uh, make sure that it's got all the things it needs to um, to function. And I went ahead and got a drill. You can take a drill and put it on um, counterclockwise. And you can take one of these square bits. I don't know if you can see that. But it's just a square. Uh, I don't know. If that, it's not a clutch, but it's just a square head. I'm not sure exactly what the name of it is. But anyway, it'll fit perfectly into a speedometer and you can just barely turn it and make the speedometer actuate. So. I know it's kind of dorky, but I thought it'd be cool to go ahead and paint that needle to match the engine and the stickers on the side of the car. All right, kind of update what I'm on to right now. Um, getting all the... You know, there's a deep scratch, I used to use some bird's eye stuff or spot putty, and I'm gonna sand that thing down, get a primer, and get it painted black. I got my dash pieces all done. Went ahead and painted the surround around the speedometer black, and these things are gonna be black, and I'll find something to back them with that's black that'll look good. Um, speedometer's cleaning up good. Just waiting for the um, ring to dry. Got it down here sitting on a heater, getting on some heat. So uh, that's that's where I'm at right now. Just keep pushing. Anyway, guys, um, that's uh, that's it for this video. So um, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. You know, hit the like button, notifications. You know all the stuff. And um, I appreciate you watching. Um, go work on your old Volkswagen.